Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good tomorrow. I hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Alive on Marco Universe, please do not swear. We are just winding the bobbin up and presenting arms. Firing the gasket. Fiddling with the fiddlesticks and getting things prepared. Maybe some extra background noise today as it is quite hot and I've got the window open. Fortunately, I don't live in a soundproof recording studio. There will be some sirens, people talking, dogs barking, children shouting and playing, you know, the usual. If you hear any gunshots, then I don't live in England anymore. So here we go, let's get cracking. Uh, boom. There's a tile just being built just as we arrive, isn't that sweet? Last one, well... Yeah, maybe last one. I like having access to this, but we could have access down here. So. We could break all this in all the way up to there if we want. I oh, might come in here and do something at some point in the future. So, they've been sending obsidian over here. We've sent them a little bit of glass. But what I do want to get going here... Let's see if you can do it in here. Wolframite to tungsten. Yes, you can. I would like to do some... Oh, that's a good moment for the game to not want to play. Wolframite to tungsten. So, this chest. Let's ask them to put wolframite in here. You can put wolframite in there, please. What's in here? Just crude oil. Okay, we did load it up with crude oil again. I forgot, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I made something there, didn't I? Round. I remember now. We could have left the pipe that was originally in here. They can bring us some Wolframite and they can put some in there. Not sure if the sweeper can reach that. Could move that to there. We can put the uh, sweeper in range uh, of that storage. Let's see if that will reach. That'll reach there. Well. Yeah, we'll try it. We'd have to join it to that one and then jump it over the oh, we can. Have to go up in its own right then. Round to join here. Or it could go up. That could go up up and across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's go like that. We can bridge that over once that's done. They've already filled that 20k chest with Wolframite. That's how industrious these duplicants are. So we can place a bridge there. Is it worth making it out? Let us make it out. Dead. Who cares? Who cares? For that. Now we're going to get rid of that one. I have to get rid of that ladder. Get rid of you. This is all right to run because it's much. It won't make the um, coolant as hot. We can put that there. We can fill it with that once it's built. Fill it with Wolframite. Build it then. It's only a chest. Let me turn my uh, sounds down a little. That's pretty darn loud. And I'm zoomed in, I can't hear a thing. Right, copy settings from you. You. Well, I might as well leave that one there on a lower setting. 
they can take from it if they want. They can bring some more here, and we now have tungsten. Oh yeah, he's going to do it for us. This will now be set to Wolframite Tungsten forever, our men. And the cooling loop is, oh, I mean, it's barely getting warm, isn't it? It's only 190. That gives us a bit of power. And we want some tungsten. I'm not sure if we want to keep the Wolframite for anything, but uh, we definitely want some tungsten. Ready? Alright. Hey, I like the sticker bomb. <laughs> it's like someone peeking out from behind the machine. Yeah, there comes a piece of clay. The automated clay of Doom system. Draco can go. Draco can go. Goodbye, Dracos. Uh, we left them with access to this room. That's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Well, that's what happens. Yeah, there's uh, polluted oxygen and stuff going out here. We'll just carry on our little steel brigade over here. I was thinking, if we do this section up here, we can remove these and get all this steel back, right? It'll be protected from above. Yeah, good job. And do another one and finish it. Excellent. Probably could have gone on extra tile that way, but never mind, that's fine. Do this ladder first. Do these as they come into range. Right, because we can get these back and then use these to extend this way. Don't need to worry about it, because that will be done. We'll need to set up and test out this thing. I need to know if that's going to work for what I wanted it to do. If we put a door above it. Probably can't see, can it? But, yeah, we can test it with a door. I want to test it on something. We can test it with one of these doors. And it'll let all that probably melty stuff there. I don't want to let down. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we can do this one. Only drop here. That's fine. So what we need to do, we don't need to power it. I want to link that to that door and see whether or not. Hi, lurking, lurking, lurking punk. How you doing? Uh, it doesn't even say I've got any viewers, so that's cool. Lurking without being here. Magic. Magic powers you have, lurk. Uh, punk, sorry. Yeah, lurk punk. Punk lurk. Have a good lurk. Enjoy your lurking. Lurk with impunity. Right, so the test is to see whether this thing can see an asteroid and coming and open and close a door in response to it. I believe it can, because when you click on it, it says allow meteor shower identification. Whether that means the type of meteor shower or just detecting a meteor shower in, you know, so uh, let's get some... No, we'll have to power it. That's the thing. I don't know if it overheats. I do not believe they do. What's on this wire? Now we reuse that one. Oh, we'll come over here. We'll dodge that a bit. I would normally do it a nice straight line, but nah. Straight lines are out. Out of fashion. We'll use a nice... Hook line. Hook line? Sounds like a fishing quote. Something. And no, automation wire. Yes, of course. We want automation wire to this door. Now, does that gives out no power wire connected? Well, yeah. But does it give out hook in this mode? See, that's not right. No, that's not what I'm thinking of then. It's got to be the other one. It's got to be that dome one. Oh, we'll see. We'll let it power up and then we'll have a look. Once they've powered it, we can we can take a look. Because I want to see if I can automate the... If we've got, like, these... Oh, uh, my, my panels again. All the way along. If we've got these bunker doors all the way along the top of the map. Right? Protect us from the meteor showers. 
We need to be able to open and close them when the relevant rocket is coming in to land. Or taking off, right? Right. We need to be able to open enough of them to allow that rocket through safely. So, does that mean... Uh, and I want to protect all this area so it doesn't keep getting damaged. Keep getting covered in stuff. But... That is still resources up there that we could use. So once we've decided what rockets we need and where they're going, we can make an area, say, here, because we can't really put rockets right up above our petroleum generator. So we can make an area here that will deliberately open and close and let resources in when there's a meteor shower. Because it won't damage anything because there's bunker doors there. Ooh, speaking of which, I want to put one over this tank. Put one there. As we tried last time. We tried the, uh, make sure it's steel. I don't think you can build them out of anything else. Yeah, there's only one option. Steel or nothing. I don't want to keep seeing this all the time, and that's also wasting our materials repairing it. But if we could do, say, a thing where we open a door and a bunch of stuff falls in, and then we close the door, and then we can deal with it, that would be all right. I wouldn't mind that. And I believe also the rocket's taken off going through a layer of stuff also destroy it and make it fall down without you having to dig it that'd be even better yeah that one's got damaged so the way to reach those ones would probably be with the old um gantries you'd have to put a gantry and like that Make sure that when the rocket is taken off, the gantry retracts, otherwise it gets damaged. Hmm, considerations. You're building that. Good job, good job. Let me go away and do something else, because I'll watch you otherwise. Dormant, that one's going soon. This thing's going like crazy. 300, 301. Oh, we just got to see it. Right to the bottom. Right into the bottom door. I love it when it does that. It really spikes the heat. Nice. I suppose you could automate it to do that on purpose, but nah. So much easier just to do it this way. Excellent. So, let's go along here. This is all petroleums. This is our kind of destroyed machine, which is going to erupt again. No, it's gone dormant now. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Maybe we should bust into it and uh, fix them. We can get some more uh, igneous out of here. There's lots of it. Only shipped out about two or three stacks, and it's all been taken. The old uh, tungsten is coming. Tell you what we'll do, then. We'll drop that out. Make that one for tungsten, right? Where's tungsten go? Refined, I guess. Come on, move, move, move. Ah, it's, it's, it's decided to save the game. Considering how long it's taking to load now, saving the game fairly frequently is annoyance, but probably necessary. There is a strong possibility as it gets more and more complicated. In my previous playthrough, I think there was an issue. Some sort of problem. Yeah, you can fill that up, but you can also fill this up now with tungsten. Now. There. There go. Wolframite going in. Well, that one's now our steel production. And that one's our, um... Wolframite to tungsten production. I don't think we need Wolframite for anything, so that's grand. Yeah, we've, we've got a few candidates up here ready for, um, ready for devouring. I mean, um, yeah. But that's now been repaired. That's useful. But I wanted to see if there was a way. Oh, this one's built. Let's have a look. So yeah, there's only one signal, and that's on it to uh, uh, enable building. It's an input. And I want it to give an output. It doesn't. Ah, an input port. Hmm. I think we need the other one. We need the observation dome thingy. Ah. 
my question is, if it sees a meteor shower and shuts a, a window to protect itself, how the hell then does it now see to that it's stopped and it can then open the window? You can't see anything. Well, we're getting a lot on here, aren't we? We're going to have to put a bit of sensor in this room. We can detect how many is on here. When's the uh, when's the uh, when's the big day? Why are we putting the crabs in here? Well, this is the um, poke shell cooker five thousand. That's what I call it. It's that clearly we own a poke shell fire fryer farm, and all it is is two doors and two timers. And we bricked up the top to stop them jumping up there. Put it right next to this leaky oil fissure because the leaky oil fissure leaks at 326.9 degrees. Oak shells have a, a um, if we look on here, oak shells have a comfortable range of 15 to 70, but a livable range of minus 30 to 100. And they also live for 100 years. He's five years old and he's already like surplus to requirements. We got our farm full of eight critters. We got our growth chamber and our thing and our babies. We were putting them in here and just manually killing them. But what we do here is I discovered by accident one day when I was building something else that if you shut one of these bunker doors on a critter's head, a critter that's too tall, it can hold it. It won't be able to move. So as soon as that door shuts, it'll grab his head and he won't be able to move. And it'll happen any second now. So any of them that are in that door will get caught. Let's hope. Some of them are in there because it's about to close. Ah, we're only getting one. Crikey, all of those on the door and we only get one. But never mind, that's fine. We'll just take the one. Every single day I've got it set. So this shuts. I've got this set to take long enough to close before the next door opens. See how that changed there? So this close, that's 80% of the day activation, 50. That's just where we decided to put it during the day be anywhere but you need enough time for this door to shut and enough time after that for this door to open and then they can both shut. that one needs to be open all the time so they can walk backwards and forwards and now what will happen is on the second timer which is this one bottom door will open when that opens our friend mr uh, crab here will drop into this um 138 degree leaky oil. In fact, I'm going to lower this again. 300, let's say. Because it's making it too cool. We want it to cook the crabs, so it's got to be over 100 degrees. Now we see this door open. He won't fall until the animation is complete, and it takes about 30 seconds to open one of these doors. It's really slow. Even when they're powered, they take a long time. Now if we check Mr. Crab here, his body temperature is 20 degrees point one, 20 point one degrees. Let's watch Mr. Crab. Watch Mr. Crab. He's going to do a swim. Takes a moment for him to realize he's actually floating in space and then he falls in. And immediately he gets point for uh, point 20 point nine. 21 degrees, 21.3, 21.4 hours. Oh, you can see he is rapidly gaining temperature. Now this door, bottom door now closes again and the top door can open. By the time the uh, bottom door is closed, the top door is opened and Mr. Crab is getting cooked. He's now 25 degrees. He's now 26 degrees already. He's only eight years old. If you kept him on the map until he died naturally at a hundred, A, you would have literally hundreds of poke shells. Ah, uh, they don't turn to meat. That's the one creature in the game that I know of that doesn't turn to meat. Turns into um, poke shell malt, which you can turn into lime, which is why we want to farm him. Yeah, he's lime. He's basically more steel. All of these are basically walking steel. You have to give them one tile to stand on because you can't put that directly on one of these doors. It won't work. Well, it will, but then how are you going to close and open the doors and trap their heads? So, I discovered it quite easy, quite by accident one day. I was messing around with something else. 
And you can see he's already 35 degrees. Get a bit warm in there, pal. I've just lessened the amount. Um, because our pump kept breaking. Because it was too hot. It's too hot. Three, uh, 326.9 degrees is too hot for steel. It still gets to 275. That's its maximum. So what we were doing is, while we were running the crude from down below from the wells, a little bit of it is getting siphoned off. A tiny amount. Up, 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 up here. We've lowered it to 300 now. It drips in, and it just helps to dilute it. Keep it a bit cooler. So it comes out at 326. We drip in here. Well, we've been dripping 500, and it's still down to 140. As long as it's over 100. As long as it's over 100. Mr. Crab is already at 42 degrees. When he reaches 100, he will turn into poke shell malt. We can automate that as well. We can put sweepers in this oil and then send the malts down to this down to this section. We've got them here so they can be ground down. A poke shell malt to lime. There we go. Fossil to lime. Fossil to lime's on this one. This one's the poke shell malt and the eggshells. So we get... The eggshells drop here automatically, and he can just reach both of them. Put them in. But the dupes keep picking the eggshells up because they've got nothing to do. Nothing better to do. Like putting the iron in there. The sweeper does that. You don't need to do that. But because we've got dupes with nothing to do, we keep doing things like that. We'll turn up. That is a high priority, so they should do that. Let's see how he is. He's on 51 degrees. We'll come back and see Mr. Poke Shell in a moment. Mr. Crab. We'll come and see him in a minute. Was in this buddy bud, right? Right. Buddy. No, that's not a buddy bud. List burst. It sounds like the one you should be using, but if you want the one that bursts with the uh, floral scent, use the buddy bud. Although, then don't pick any dupes that have got the allergies, because every, even floral scent will set them off. Hmm. Our, our, our thing went dormant. Which uh, means we got a little bit of a chance. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to pump this out, wasn't I? We just reattach it like that and put a bridge on the end. Ugh. That pump will just pump out whatever's in there and hopefully we can trap it all in a pipe. Have one of the dupes empty the pipe because I don't think they Can they mop that? Oh, they can mop that. Don't bother. Don't bother. I don't think we need to add any more polluted water to the system. We've got this pipe, random pipe left in here, so when we come in, get rid of that. We can also get rid of this random piece of gas pipe I've left in here when I send it to a vacuum. But these couldn't take the heat. Uh, I want to improve them. To improve them, we have to go into space. Let's go back into our rocket. Yeah, that's looking good. So, if we put a couple of beds in here. I know, that's furniture, yeah, Muppet. Now, you can, if you're just having one dupe, you could put a comfy bed if you wanted. Yeah. Um, but I think we'll... Yeah, I think we'll go for a barracks, shall we? For a while, it'll just be one dupe. So, we could just... Put, no, we'll go for barracks straight away. Now, you don't have to actually um, put the two in straight away. It'd be nice to have a bit of obsidian. We might need it in space. I tend to make things out of steel and stuff that I think that you might need while you're out. Because you can't get resources. If you could destroy a cot bed and build it out of something else. Now you've got a bit of obsidian to use. That's why I make everything. All this is steel and, you know, these are iron ore. Um, you know, things that you might actually find useful. Let's also get a one of those scanner things. That under rocketry. Put that there. I don't know why I'm putting it by the window. I don't think it really matters. Get some power wire. Definitely making this out of steel in here. It's tempting to use lead and think, nah, it doesn't matter. But it's always useful to have extra, me uh, extra metal that you don't need. 
you're going to do a cross like that, you can always destroy it later and get the steel out that, you know, might be useful to the duplicate. Have some steel while he's away in space somewhere doing something and you go, oh no, I forgot to do so and so. And yeah, now we've got this barrel of um, oxalite in here. It's, it's pressurized this to 1800. As soon as a duplicate comes in here and takes off their suit, they'll start breathing out and this will overpressurize. Now we want to put in, uh, let's put in the hand sanitizer, that. Let's put in the fridge, that in. I'm going to put it there for now. That means they've got to come through this door to get anything out of the fridge, which hopefully means they'll wash their hands. Uh, what else do we need? We need the rocket control station, otherwise we can't control this rocket. That's going in there. So that's now a barracks. That's now a mess hall. This will get so overpressured, I don't think I'll bother with a plant this time. You can use, if you've researched it, you can use the pixel packs and put them all in here and make it really, really pretty. And then that helps to stop your duplicate going a bit nuts. So we're also going to just check on the uh, barracks. 12 tiles, so we can go 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, which means we can put plastic tiles up here if we want. Protect our duplicate against the rays. They're having a sleep. So let's get some plastic tiles. They're probably the best ones to use. We'll put those there. We can put some here, I guess, as well. Go yeah, just in the thinnest area. Helps out. The food will be placed in this refrigerator, which may or may not be plugged in, depending on what type of food we're using. We can make berry sludge. It never goes off, so you don't need to power the fridge. So you can just put it, but I'm putting it in with the toilet, which seems like the, the worst place to put it. But actually, it makes them, it forces the duplicant to go past the hand washing station to get the food. And usually they're sat on the loo, they get their food, wash their hands, go and eat it. That's pretty much what you want. You don't want them to be able to get food without washing their hands. And I only want to put one hand sanitizer in here. So it's perfect. It works really good. Put the food in the bathroom. The worst possible place, seemingly, to put it. Oh, that's bloody Wolframite again. Cancel. Sorry. Is that Wolframite? Yeah, take the bloody Wolframite away. I'll make it again. Uh, what was that? Um, you've got to make sure this is pressurized before you bring that in. If you don't. You can't get them to fill the fridge in the spacecraft. But you need the rocket control station built. And then you go uh, check whether it's grounded. Because that'll stop them using it. It puts these hand symbols on everything. They're supposed to be able to come in and refill things. But they won't take from it. But sometimes it gets a bit weird and a bit buggy. They're supposed to come in and fill it. And not use from it. That's the theory. Like putting a toilet in. You put a toilet in. You used to have dupes coming in and using it, so they built this grounded thing in, and it's supposed to automatic, so as soon as the rocket lands, it switches to grounded. As long as you've left it ungrounded. But I find it a bit weird. Sometimes it doesn't work right. So just I'll play around with that. And also your, your um, priorities. If you've got it set to sweep only, then obviously you've got to press sweep on something, otherwise it's not going to build it. Yeah, if you don't have that switched on, the grounded thing, they will come and use things. They'll come to bed here. They'll come and eat food here, and they'll use the mess tables and whatever. They'll use the toilet and start peeing in it when it's docked at the station. You're like, no, go away. Get out of my rocket. You can't. You, you didn't used to be able to stop them doing things like taking things out of these containers. But when I did the other one, the other rocket, knowledge, I, put, I had it here before, and I put the barrel there, and then I destroyed the barrel and just left the plastic on the floor. Now that plastic is usable. If I'm building something in space out of plastic, this is the nearest source. They will come and take it. But if it's in a container now, the way they've changed it, that gets a hand symbol on it as well. No touch. It means they're allowed to come and put things in it. They're not allowed to take anything unless the rocket is in space.
But you've also got to remember to set the priority on this. If this priority is lower than the priority in the base, they're never going to fill it. They're always going to fill the base one first. So what I tend to do is stick to one type of food for the rocket pilots and then ban everyone else from that food. And usually, if you can make it, berry sludge is the way to go because it doesn't rot. We go to our other rocket, this one. We have berry sludge in here. It never goes off. It's never powered. It didn't power the, that. It's never powered. But Bubbles is the only one allowed to eat it. And because there are better foods in the base, when we're docked, Bubbles doesn't usually bother. You've got to watch out. Sometimes I'll come up here to eat because they're assigned to it. Sort of. But because this is also marked as no touch, that also helps to stop Bubbles from doing it. But if we make some more berry sludge, which we're going to have to, we need to travel in space. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got the right ingredients to make berry sludge. How did we make it? I've forgotten. Let's go back to the base and check. Oh, I know what I was going to do. The doors. Check these guys. They're getting a bit warm now. 46, 46. We we'll missed the other guy. He must have been cooked. But use the doors. Oh, to, as ladders in the rocket, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it saves its space. I, and I realised here that if I just put these doors here, carried on out, missed out that plastic tile and just made doors in this row here, is four spaces and then a row of doors going right to the ceiling. We can have four four floors, well, four spaces, four rooms, and we can make them all a minimum 12 tiles to make sure that you get bonus from having them. We go back to, and I wanted to put two beds in here. You can't put a bed on a sideways nomadic door. It doesn't work. So we went to do this one. Could have just gone straight there, shouldn't I? We went to do this one, and then I realized if you do the 12 tiles here and have it at the same level, we can also do some plastic there, which helps eliminate the uh, radiation. Because if you look at plastic tiles, the radiation blocking is 68%. That is enormous. It's the highest in the game, as far as I understand. So, uh, put a couple of plastic tiles against this wall here, where it's thinnest. Especially this, where the ports come in and out. So, plastic is very good for radiation blocking. So, uh, if you don't do that, for some reason, I don't know why they designed their rockets base like this. I think it's very silly. But, uh, yeah. Now we need to rebuild the uh, hand wash station. Hand sanitizer. This time we'll make it out of steel. Why is the fridge made of sedimentary? Oh, well, fair enough. You can keep it as sedimentary because the fridge is made of rock in this game. I think we can actually put in the plumbing and the pipes for the toilet. This is where the, the water comes in. It's a little bit confusing. Because uh, it looks like it's an output pipe, but it's an, it's an output from... No, hang on. How do I describe it? It's an input from outside. I go back out here, and I look at liquid pipes. That's where the water goes in. And because we've arranged things, we've switched the small oxidizer tank down there. Now not lining up properly, but uh, we can go like that. Pop them around. Never used to be able to do that. That's so nice. And now we can... Um, our water should line up. Unfortunately, it's lining up with that as well, which isn't good. That's not good. I don't want to line up with that. I have to put a bridge there. Ah, game save. Game save. I don't use the uh, ladder beds, because if you've got more than one dupe on the rocket. The ladder beds, as soon as the second dupe gets on it, it gives the first dupe disturbed sleep because the whole ladder bed wobbles. I don't like giving my dupes disturbed sleep. Go plumbing. Liquid bridge. Oh, like that. 
that off. I don't want that. We'll leave the dot of pipe there. And we'll build that. We ought to get there. Have a look inside. Oh, it's the wrong one. This one. One we're building. So has that got um, bleach stone in it? Yes, it does. That's perfect. We'll make that a high priority so that when the rocket lands, they'll come and repair that. Or add more to it if it needs them. Uh, now we just need to put the toilet in. So we have to go back to, I believe it's medicine, is it? Mm, no, it'll be rocketry then, I guess. No, it's not rocketry. Where the hell is it? Not furniture. There's the ladder bed. Gonna use the ladder bed, I guess. I don't like it very much. I tried it. Been there, done that, tried it, didn't like it. Wall toilet. There we go, it's under plumbing. I have to flip it round, and that part's got to be the wall, and it's made out of plastic. Uh, we now have, once that goes in, that'll be a bathroom. And this is just a miscellaneous room you can do what you want in. Two science buildings, a light source. Make a laboratory. I don't know if that class is a science building or not. I don't suppose it does. Oh well. And I don't want a light source in here because they generate heat. That's one thing that's bad for your rocket. Generating heat. You want to generate as little heat as possible. Which is another bonus to not plugging in the fridge and making berry sludge. Now we need to, all I do for this, I mean, you could store tanks, you can have liquid tank, you can carry a tank of water with your ship. And I just take an insulated pipe. Yeah, it's going to be insulated. We'll just make it out of igneous. We'll wiggle it all over the place. You can take up the entire space if you want. Um, I don't, mm, I don't like that. But no, no, that's fine. Something like that, and then it can go along the bottom and into there. And we'll just snip that one off. Are we going to reuse this? Oh god, that looks horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Boom. Are we going to reuse this? I don't know. But we might as well put as much water in as we can, hey? We could go all the way into the walls as well. You can go right into here if you want. Store as much water as possible in the pipes. You know? One of those things. Do you want to... Oh, God, that looks terrible. Do you want to do that? You can do that, but you don't have to. Now, there's a problem here because there's the door, so we can't do there anyway. We can do that one. No point doing there, but you can also go around here and up and down so you don't waste a single tile. Every single tile gets filled. I don't normally bother, but I'm going to do it just for demonstration purposes, I suppose. But you can just do that. And that gives you an awful lot of water in your vehicle. And you don't need to worry about, you know, your dupe running out of toilet water from being able to pee. Or I said, as I said, you can take a tank of water with you and you can extract it from inside the ship. Not done that. That's terrible to see. So let's um, let's leave while they build that. Let's go down and check on the poke shells again. There's another guy here that I want to murderize. Doors have just caught another poor victim. Um, poke shell. This one's 95 degrees. Where is he? 95 degree guy. There you are. When he gets to 100, just over 100, the game usually gives you a degree or two of leeway. Like with the um, petroleum boiler turning the crude into petrol. So he's walking backwards and forwards and he can't go anywhere because he's trapped inside the uh, very hot liquid. Hot of the liquid, the quicker he'll warm up. But obviously, 
we can stop dripping it, liquid in here to cool it down when we've got space age materials and we can make something that's um, like niobium or thermium or something we make it out I think it's thermium we make there's like a 900 degree he's on 99.4 I hope you have said your prayers, spoken to your gods, decided on life, because you are going to evolve. Oh, there he goes. He is now a poker shell malt. He's now 10 kilos of poker shell malt. 10 kilos of poker shell malt goes in here. Converts to, um, to lime. There's, there's the poke shell. Poke shell Friar 5000. That's the good name for it. He's already in there grabbing poke shell malts out. They'll be back for that very quickly. I love grabbing an old malt. I will put a sweeper in here. It's cool enough to add a sweeper. Let's, let's, let's actually do that. Auto sweeper. I was saving up the steel for other things. But let's put a sweeper in. It seems silly to waste time. I'm duplicate time and labour. We'll need to reach both sides because they can they can walk that far. In future, if I ever get a leaky oil fissure, I'll remember to make it the chamber sort of nine wide. Then you could just use it. you could build this directly underneath there. That won't transfer any temperature at all. Um, but you do need somewhere to put this. Uh, the mesh tile. Um, yeah, you could because that will fall right through it. And it shouldn't overheat then, should it? To keep that from touching the door, I've got this um, sensor here. And to also stop it from overheating and burning up the metals, we drip in a little bit of, uh, little bit of crude to dilute it. Doesn't matter because that just pumps it out. And that keeps the temperature at a reasonable... Well, what are we at? 140 degrees, that's enough to cook a poke shell. As you can see, because we saw the last ones go. He's already on 51. As long as it's hotter than 100, they'll absorb the temperature until they die. And as I say, if you kept them around until they naturally die, he's age 9. He's going to be on this map for another 91 cycles before he dies naturally. That is a lot of extra, like calculations for the computer to do and the room will get busier and busier and there'll be more and more of them you also end up with the problem where it says max 20 critters and then when there's 20 in here it won't put any more in that gives you another problem how the hell do you deal with that you know well, they can get built We'll put those in, and we'll put a uh, vent. Uh, what's it called? An automation? No, chipping. Bear loader can go in here. Which one are we trying to add to? We want to add to. We want to go to this one, don't we? That's where the the poke shell molts and stuff. But we'll put it in between so that I can reach it. Make sure it's steel. We've got to try and get. This is our. Oh, this is our iron ore from the other side. Let's check to see if it's. Oh, hang on. That checks to see if it's. Gold. Gold gets sent up there and polluted dirt comes down here. Okay, that's not that what I thought it was. But we could add a filter to this line and use that line. Or we could put our own line in and just jump over and go down to where we want to go. We need to join to this rail. There is a piece of rail here we could... Do. That bit can go. It might be useful in places, but it's, it's easier to see. We just get rid of the bits you don't need and you can... You know, we can come down here. Then where are we going to go? That's kind of like crap there. I think it would be easier just to run our own line paying power for this thing anyway so if we come over to there we've only got to join on to here come down there 
don't deconstruct that one after all. Yeah. Come down there. And what do we got? Just join onto this line. Yeah. Oh, wrong place. That isn't steel, is it? I'm wasting that. Perfect. Pencil that. We just need a couple of bridges. Rail bridges. No, not steel. Make it out of copper. Mm, that one. Yeah, we do need one there. We need one there. It's a lovely, beautiful mess. I love it. We have got coal coming into here that we don't really use a lot of anymore. As the clay drops in, occasionally we do make things out of clay. Yeah, we do. When we, when we get some, we make a bit of ceramic. I haven't even bothered making um, refined carbon. We've got so much of it stashed around up here. I can't even see it. This is getting longer, I guess. Oh, refined carbon. There we are. Is that all we've got? No, I'm pretty sure we put it down here, didn't we? Someone, someone did. That's got regolith on it. I don't want regolith on there. Get rid of that. Phosphorus. Get rid of clothing. Don't want that. Uh, don't want that. Don't want any rust. Salt, sucrose, coal. Nah, get rid of coal. Get rid of lime. Clay and dirt. Nah, don't need those. Don't need that. We don't need balm lily flowers. Well, we probably do, actually. Um, plastic, I suppose that can stay there. I don't want uranium ore up here. The other ores we didn't have at the time. I certainly don't want eggshell up here. Or anything that off gases. I don't want any of those because they're fed to the uh, things or they're very hot. And that's fine, we'll leave that. Once they've built this, we've got to figure out how to power it. There is a bit of power here available. But I wanted to get rid of this dude because he's not really... Uh, I think he can he can power this. He's alright. So I use these in sync with each other to make sure the uh, the top door must fully close before the bottom door starts to open, otherwise it doesn't really work. But as soon as the door begins the animation, they're frozen. See they were walking then. As soon as that starts the animation, they are now stuck those two. So we've got to have enough time for that door to shut before this door opens. Yeah, they're trapped. Trapped. They can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's getting a bit warm, is it? 136. Oh, I thought I lowered that down, so it should be getting, um, getting warmer in there, not cooler. Oh, maybe it's because we put machinery in here and it's soaked up some of the heat. Because we're pumping it out of that height, we don't need complicated thing anymore. Got rid of all that complicated stuff. Literally just halving it down to 5k, just so that this thing can reduce some of the temperature. That was our old uh, deal and whatever, mining, uh, refining facility. We don't need it now. So Power-wise, that's perfect. That's um, right in the right spot. That was everything we need. Job done. There's still there we could nab. Deconstruct some of that. That out. Actually, probably get rid of this pump. Ah, it's only gold amalgam. Fine. Stay there. Who needs gold amalgam? Ugh. We do. We love gold amalgam. Right, let them build that. That sent that thing. We can set that to... Um, Oak shell malt, which I believe is an organic, is it? No. They... Ooh. It's not an ore. They uh, cultivate with soil. <laughs> Industrial ingredient. Here we go. Oak shell malt. And a small one. We'll do both. Even though the small one should never get down here. Just in case of the vague possibility, one of these... Like 
popped an egg out while they were in here. There is a possibility that one of them sat up there could pop an egg out and then they'll all be angry and when they come along to put the next one in, um, they would get attacked. So you might want to put one up here that you know just takes any possibility of any eggs, sends them somewhere as well, but I'm not going to bother. There's more complication for a very unlikely scenario. If there is an egg in here, the dupe has no real need to come down to this section once the sweepers are in. You could even block that ladder off so they can't get down here. We just let this, let this system deal with it. We can even clean up the mess with it. Get the system to sweep out all the crap. I haven't bothered because it's quite hot crap, you know. I don't want to dump that somewhere. So, yeah. We could block off the ladders at this point, put a brick there. I don't want to put a brick there because the poach out gives them another space to stand. We just destroy the ladders so they can't climb down. That would be a better way. But now this should do the job, so they don't need to come down here. So I'm going to get rid of that bottom ladder here. I'll get rid of that bottom ladder here. If they die in this corner, They will. the dupes will still come down to pick up the malt. They can reach three tiles from the ladder. This is now set to malt. We just got to wait for one of these boys to die. See if it works. Comes along here, it jumps over there, it jumps over there, and it jumps over there, and then it adds to this line, which uh, drops out here. I'd rather put another direction thing on here. On this bridge. Just feel better doing that. Bridge going up right there. Clip that off, and then just build that bridge. Let's see if one of these guys actually gets some. Um, Wept up by the machine instead of a dupe. How long have you got? Yeah, you're pretty low. Oh, they're absorbing temperature. That'll be a while. I think we lowered the temperature a bit. Picked up steel. Oh, yeah, that was from that wire. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. I think when we built these this equipment, it soaked up some of the heat. Cause that's really dropped to like five degrees. It'll warm back up again because uh, we've lowered the amount we're dripping in. So this is going to pump out. 426 degrees and that's going to mix with our whatever temperature this is, 93 degrees. That should cool it down nicely for our machinery to not break. That's why I've got that set to disable auto repair. We'll do the same. Oh, now you dumbo. Why did you get in there and do it? Now you've got to put it back, haven't you? So get out. Disable. Disable. Yeah, I'm just disabling auto repair on it all. Yeah, that one's gone, so they can't get down this side. We just need them to not be able to get down this side without climbing down there to do it. Go nut. Come back and do it properly. That's also why I haven't swept up the stuff that landed on here. Because uh, that'll be hot. That's uh, 324 degrees. We could strip this directly on here, I suppose, and cool it down that way. We could probably get that stuff out. This is as cool as it's ever going to get, I guess. How are you, poke shell guy? You're 60 degrees. It's just like a summer's day on the beach. What you worried about? We can chuck out this grub fruit seed. We could add that to the menu. Is that our food thing? Grub fruit seed. I don't think it is because it's a seed, isn't it? Maybe it's under seeds. Let's go down to seeds. Okay, any seeds that are in here? Yeah. Test our little system out. What else have we got in here? Junk. Suck it all up. Suck it up. What we got? Mafic Rock, Sandstone, Gold Amalgam. The usual things from results of, you know, messing around building things. So let's put raw mineral and refined metal on here and see what else we've got. Beep up. And we'll come and check again later. I want to come back and see if the machine sweeps old matey boy up. I think 
It's jammed up somewhere because it's not flowing. Able by automation. Uh oh, there's an automation wire there that we haven't removed. Oh, game save, so I can't fix it. But hey, we will fix it. It probably just needs a bridge over it so the automation wire that was there can do its job. I didn't realise there was a uh, automation wire there. That was a rookie mistake. Yeah, look at this. There's, uh, that's our one that controls the pump. So, plumbing. Li not liquid bridge, you bleeding muppet. Ah, yeah. Okay, automation bridge. Much. Now, we will make this one out of steel. Why not? Because, you know, well, we can't have to. And uh, we're going to have to let them get back down here again. This is why you should test things in a test world. But I never use test worlds. I like to just make things up as I go along. And this is our equivalent of put pouring crude oil in, in, our, in our tank room. This room. So if we, uh, we pour water, uh, pour crude oil in here, it just gets pumped out to there eventually anyway. So that's perfect. Yeah, clean room. I want it to be a clean room, but it's not. Not very clean, our clean room. Oh, now hurry up. I want to test this thing with these two guys. You're not coming. Come on. Hurry up. I think we need to send bubbles to space again to get some more data banks. We don't have any. Perhaps we ought to skill scrub bubbles now. And then just give them bare minimum so they can stay up there for much longer. Or we'll just train someone else in the art of rocket piloting. While we wait for someone to come and build our bridge. Come on. You know what's going to happen? Automation wire there. Deconstruct it, would you? Stay in here for a moment longer. Yeah. You're going to realise you can't get out, and now you're going to come back and do that for me. Thank you very much. Now you're allowed out again. Oh, I already had it clicked. Go. Go, 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 go. Now you can destroy that ladder again. You never have to come back. And this thing can now chunk out all oh, its junk. Mafic, rocks, sandstone. It's all hot, 140 odd degrees. But, you know, I'd rather get it out of here. Trash in the way. I don't want to get that, because that's really hot. 300 odd degrees. I'd rather uh, drop that in here somehow. Or we uh, pump that out. Or put an extra one of these emptiers but directly above it and see whether that helps to cool it down for a bit so we can get it out of here. I don't know. Or just leave it there and not worry about it. This is all coming down, jumping over, jumping over, jumping over, and it's getting dropped right here. But there should be materials there that they'll move automatically without me having to worry about it. Like they'll put it in here or something. I don't like having all the junk piled up here, but it's a good way of getting out the system without the dupes having to do it. Right, are you clean the mess? No, you've still got a grub fruit seed there. Oh, it dropped it. The automation was blocked. We've ca caught another one. Got two in here now, and we've already caught a third. Quite good when you get a batch of them at once. <laughs> right, while that's sweeping out, let's pop over here. I don't think this is going to do what I want, so let's deconstruct that for now. Uh, yeah, we've got to get this water into... Ah, we were going to put it in here, were we? Bit dodge. Bit dodgy, doesn't it? Where's the water going? Oh, over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Means we've got to pump it over there somehow. Somehow, we will bring this ladder down to there. And I guess we'll just add a, make it out of... What were we doing? Sedimentary, wasn't it? Place was mostly sedimentary, I guess. Please let me. Do that. Thank you. Right. Do that sort of thing somehow. That looks a bit thin there, doesn't it? Mm, we might brick that up or something. 
We don't need access in here anymore, for, for a while anyway. We can brick this there. We've got access in here anyway, so we can undo these doors if we want to go up this way. Or we'll bust in here. Now, this is going to end up being a big tank, but we've got to get rid of all this junk stuff in the side of it. Let's put piles in there. Sedimentary will be brilliant. This is probably pointless, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. Just give them something to do. A lot to do over here. Over here. I don't want to send all of our obsidian over there, so I better turn the obsidian off again. No more obsidians. Don't do that anymore. Oh, shovel legs. Yeah, we're definitely having those, but we're having those over Lavini. Oh, it's still tidying up. Christ, there must be a lot of mess in there. Okay. Shovel legs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Choose a blueprint. Print. Shovel leg. Sweep. Click again, sweep. The third time, sweep. Hopefully they've taken them all. I hope they've took two of them. One more to go. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to see that gone. Come on, somebody. Take it. Sweep errand. Come on, somebody. Anybody? You want to take it? This should be set to sweep only shovel legs, so. The only place shovel legs should ever go. If they to hatch. You've got machinery built like, you know, a huge pile of eggs now. How many eggs do we have? 11 eggs. And 11, yeah, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's 22, you muppet. No, I don't know if it includes that one. Not sure. Yeah, we moved all the sweet tools into there. They don't seem to care. I wanted to see, while I'm down here, just quickly. This, we need this because it makes berry sludge. What do you need? You need sleet wheat grain and bristle berries. Well, we're getting lots of bristle berries for now. Um, hmm. There's something they make with it in here. I want to make sure they stop. Grilled bud of a bristleberry. I think that's what you use. It says bristleberry, but I think it's gristleberry or something. I don't know. Poorly worded. Berry sludge. So we need to make sleep wheat for that. And then we can make more of the food that does never ever rots. Never goes off, never rots. And that is great for rockets. So how are we going to make some sleet wheat? That needs to be kept in a very cold environment to grow. Um, yeah, we don't have any to put in here. Whatever food you put in here is going to go off pretty damn fast. It's only got a fridge to keep it full. So, yeah. That's limiting factor for our rocketry mission. We need to make some kind of... We've got a huge space down here that we could use. One. It's, a, it's another project that I really wanted to just get on and do other things. I guess we might have to. That is limiting us. Rocketry program is kind of depending on having food for the pilots. Um, if we don't have any food for the pilots, we're screwed. Right, so I'm going to set this back to water. Alrighty. Give us a water pipe, will you? And we will send some water into there. And that will fill that up. That will fill up all of these pipes zigzagging everywhere. And get lots and lots of water for our thing. Then what do we need? We definitely need some telescope work done. Why is that wolframite again? That. Okay, rebuild it. Out of steel, it'd be useless. 
I should check. I really should check. I would prefer it didn't build it until you uh, force you to click on the material instead of just automatically changing. We need that Wolframite to make our tungsten. I'll be putting it on rocket ships. Like before when I made a pipe out of um, uranium ore. Like I never noticed. <laughs> okay, we have uranium ore pipes. That's just nice, isn't it? Right. So now we've got to rebuild this thing. Out of resident. Yeah. Steel. Build it out of steel. Don't be a muppet. I don't know if this plastic is going to interfere with this. As far as I know, it can be put right in the middle of the room. It doesn't matter. So we have toilet. It's got the hand symbol. They won't use it. It's got food, but we can't give them any. So let's go back to Lavini. And let's check this spice machine out. Spice. Spicy, spicy. We'll dig that out finally. That's not part of this room, and we kept our vacuum. Yay, uh, we can deconstruct that. Build the obsidian ladder back up. Deconstruct that, and replace that tile. Good. All in a day's work. And there's a little bit of uh, obsidian abyssalite there to sweep up. Let's get it. Any junk left in the... T yeah, let's get, get rid of that, please. Excellent. I like it. Things are going well. All we need to do is get some food for space. And I'm wondering if that spicy thing, the food thing, this thing, could make something maybe last longer. Slows the decomposition of perishable foods. Mealwood seed and salt. Well, close the decomposition perishable. That sounds exactly what I want. Boost the rocket piloting abilities. Strengthens weak muscles. Improves operating. I'm not bothered about that all that. This is the one I'm interested in. So we want to make... There's no point making berry sludge. If we make barbecue, they're just going to eat it, aren't they? And we could make sort of like fried mushrooms that don't go off as quick. But I'd like to know how much it adds. And if it's worth doing. Seems like a big fat waste of time. Our storage of resources this container so you can put stuff in here that can have that on it can you prevent dupes from eating it like can you say like dupes are not allowed to eat spiced food or something that means going to the uh, consumables tab which always slows down my game very much. seeing whether or not can't eat that don't eat that crap What's this one? Roast grub fruit nuts. Mmm, omelettes you can eat. Grub fruit preserve. That would be nice, but we don't have the sulfur to feed to the uh, guys to make the sucrose. Maybe we can just dig a huge amount of sucrose out. Make ourselves some grub fruit preserve. That'll do for now, wouldn't it? That was nice. Oh, it always shoots back, and I don't know why it does it. Very sludge. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Moving. Oh, well. You know, I was wondering that. Uh, it looks like you can. Let's make a little piece. I don't know. Let's make a piece of uh, barbecue. Not very high priority, but uh, we'll make it a little bit higher. Because we make a lot of barbecue. We've got this system going. It's got one egg in it pretty much 24-7. It gets hugged, incubates, hatches. We've got lots of eggs to do it. So that just is a tiny room that produces probably more meat than all of this. 
But these give out a lot of meat when they die. Crikey. Why well, they're good to ranch. So the bristle berries and the bristle blossoms. Baking up here. Fried up into gristle berries. Then they should be being brought in here and turned into berry sludge. We need the sleep meat to con combine with it. Also, I want to check how much water is left in there. Pumped up. Can't be a lot left now. There's a little puddle here. Left. But we can still pump more water into it if we want to. We'd have to cool it down somehow. But we can still do it. How's that little pump doing? How you doing, pump? Yeah, you're doing all right. Look at you. You can't get down here to do this over pressure well. You're doing all right. Doing good. Theoretically speaking, we could brick up here. Doesn't we don't lose our? This is all a vacuum anyway. Brick there. We could come in. Brick along here. Ladder along here. Just a little area to get through and we could come in here we could have access to the uh, well that's greyed out because I've got this door locked yeah we'll, we'll try it I've got to keep my eye on that though because I think there's hot materials in in here there's very hot igneous I don't want them having access to it. I don't think I'll bother cancel that We've got enough to think about anyway, without worrying about that. Make sure that this water is enough water for the period of time that we're going to be... Well, it's... Um, 48 so Well, by the time we pumped that to a vacuum and started using it again, that'll be plenty. Hi guys, are you getting, like, cooked? 98, ooh, good timing. Get to see it work. Probably. Unless they died too close to one of the ladders, one of the dupes get the job. Right, he's about to evolve. Oh, he's evolved. It's not sweeping him. Someone's got the flipping job. Baking him. If he pops in the middle here. You can reach him. There's a poke shell mob. Now you can reach it because the guy's job has been cancelled. There you go. Lock the door. There's 10k of poke shell malt is on its way. Coming more light. Hey, this will chock us with food now. Nice. Nice to see. Nice to see. Right. We will now. That is why that sweeper didn't pick it up because the dupe got the job. So I'm definitely going to get rid of another ladder segment. Bring it up a little bit more. Might even bring it up another one. Just to sort of stop them getting the job. I don't want them down here. I mean, we might have to come down here to repair things at some point in time. There's still sand and dirt to get rid of. Okay, sand. We know where that is. Please get rid of the sand. And the sandstone. Piece of abyssalite there as well. Get rid of the abyssalite. What else is there? Sand and dirt. Right. There's a lot more there than I thought then, because time. No dirt's not there, you muppet. It's up here. Cultivatable soil. It's got so many categories that overlap. They always seem to put things in the one that you don't expect it to be in. Oh, there you go. That should tidy itself up. They're kept cool by the temperature of the uh, crude, even though this is a vacuum. These doors can work in vacuum, so they don't gain a temperature anyway. So I think it would be all right. If they did touch the crude because I don't think they can. You know, they don't have a temperature limit. Yeah, there was a lot of crap in there. They weren't 
that's quite a small project, you know. Usually when you've finished a project, it's so much junk to clean up. And I know if I see a little crumb in there, I'm like, ugh. You know? <laughs> Can't go back in to get it out. Like this. That really, yeah. No. Right. Should be done. There might be a little blob there, there is. Get rid of that pump. We don't need you now. We'll keep this little thing here. We'll put a pump back in. In the future, maybe, because we might get um, super coolant and we can pump all this water out. Put super coolant or something better in there. Let's view the interior of our rocket. Uh, I would like to put paintings in here. Yeah, the volcano system died uh, of overheating. I'm hoping getting some late game materials from the map actually help build it. I mean, there's different ways we could modify it. Um, I could modify it, whereas most people do it that way, and that's why I wanted to do it different. We could remove this vent, make this volcano in its own little room with a little space to drip magma through. So the magma would drip down into another chamber where we could have like a door doing the same thing we have with the steam room. We could remove all these and put them higher up and make this like a magma tank and have a, uh, a temperature door like we do with our um, this thing. Just have a door that transfers the heat to the room. That works quite well. As we can see, we've cooled down all this uh, <laughs> all this magma with it into solidified it. And at some time, we're going to come in here and we're probably going to put a rail system through this diamond. And we can scoop up all this stuff and just have it going round and round in there. Transferring lots of heat. Yeah, there's several different ways we could modify it, but I just wanted to see if it would work in that sense. And I think it might work if it had um, base age metals for these things, then it would probably work fine. We'll see. That little liquid pipe there has got to be emptied. One last blob in there to get rid of. I don't mind that other pump not running, that other well. Means we're... Uh, we're keeping balanced with the amount of liquid in here and better. They're three, 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 three each. We're doing seven, so we're, we're taking a tiny bit more. Six thousand six hundred and sixty-six. We're doing seven thousand, so we're doing a bit extra. So we we got plenty to work with. While that pumps out, that solitary pump, all on his lonesome. Hey yo, Cobalt, how to how good to see you. How to see you? With my eyes. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Hope you're having a great day. We're just examining what the heck mischief we can get up to. Right, we've done all the way to the end here, so I think we can come in and destroy all this. Get our steel back here. I hope most of this is uh, regolith and will just fall down. I think there's little patches of it that are dirt that we'll have to put a ladder to. But at least our ladder now won't get uh, attacked. I'm doing well. I want to say good to see you too, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't. I don't have a webcam yet. Maybe in the future one day. Well, who knows? Let's put an, a nice priority of seven on that. And we can get these bunker doors back and rebuild them up here. We've got a few tiles gap to mess around with. I might build them right on limit from here on out because it'll be our rocket area. We need as much space for our rockets as we can possibly get. So I might go up by a couple. That does make a gap where potential issues could arise. <laughs> We'll see what's, uh, what can resist those uh, 
evil meteors of doom. Well, I think we ought to uh, send Bubbles back to space to do some more, more work. Screw up, Bubs. Screw up. Should have waited till the morning, first thing, but never mind, hey. Come on, Bubbles. Get your, get your button gear. Is that our Bubbles coming up? Yeah, it is. Oh. Um. No. That wasn't Bubbles. That's the wrong rocket, mate. This is Bubbles. Let's give it a destination. He's just there. Let's, um... Yeah, let's take off first. I always like to see the exhaust. Go, rocket! Go, little baby rocket of doom! Well, hopefully not of doom. Off you go! On voyage and all that jazz. Bye! That's it. We will now tell Bubbles to unequip the suit. Get some nice pop tier drums. On the 19.5 kilos in here. Not too shabby. Got a bit of food. And we will change Bubbles' schedule to the rocket schedule. Bubbles has already been. I forgot to change Bubbles off the rocket schedule. I reckon Bubbles would be a little bit happier if we gave them an extra slot. I think they would. Yeah. Give them an extra slot. They don't need the downtime. I mean, where are you going to go? You're in a rocket. You got far. Right. Get on with it, Bubbles. Make us some data banks. We'll see you soon. All right. We have done all of our research so far with one of those hand machines. This fella here. Getting pumped. Well, Otto's doing it. We don't have a researcher anymore because we've sent them to space. But that's fine. They'll come back with some rad... Not rad bolts. Some data banks. And that shoots in there and it shoots a pathetic four rad bolts per time. And they've got food poisoning. Nice. Well, they get their uh, bit of uranium out of here. Run into here. Drop it out. And... Once that's full of red bolts, sends out a signal, locks the doors. Nobody can add any more. And when the dupe is in there, the door locks as well to stop someone bringing them more uranium while they're in there. I, they have to leave to get some. And that's it. We've done all the research so far. Didn't press anything because it's buggy. Yeah, we've done all of this research. Just using the hand crank. Hand cranker of doom. Yeah. We've got the uh, signal distributor and signal selector to go. Oh, we've done that now. Oh, nice automation broadcaster. That should be useful. And the pixel pack would be good for the rocket ship. So we're doing that next. And uh, then we'll do that last, I think. We, but we will build one. I'll need jetpacks because I want Red Bolt Engine of Doom. Done all of that research without it. We need that first. I think the drill cone. Probably the most important one, to be honest. Yeah, let's switch over to drill cone. No, we're already on drill cone. Good. Excellent. So when they come back, we can... Uh, do a bit of this. Yeah, we haven't got a, we've got a symbol on here. Oh no, you don't have a rock uh, scientist. Yeah, it's alright, don't panic. We're in space doing stuff and things. There is our laboratory room. Awesome. I do want to have a play with this geo tuner. Uh, not just yet. I think we're good. Do you mind not making so much noise? Guys, you know, Lindsay's having a float around here. Come on, Lindsay. Enjoy all that decor, won't you? Hey, there's a picture that's not been painted. 
Is that door locked? I bet that door's locked. Yeah. All right, paint the picture then. I didn't notice that all this time. Mill needs to do that. I think she's our resident artist. We'll get on the case. Did we make any of this? Ice grinder. Reaper can't pick it up. So if we made any, it should be there. There's a piece there, I can see it. Get rid of that darn mealwood seed. And we just need to make that a higher priority. I think it's, this is all high. You know, this is the important one. Nobody's really bothered with this. Barbecue, salt, mealwood seed. What does it do to the piece of barbecue? Because the sweeper's out of range of that machine, so it won't pick it up. When it's done, it'll drop on the floor. I really want to see what it does to it. In terms of, like, longevity. Oh, yeah, the gold volcano is fine, but it's this thing that died. It were still providing power after all this time, though. Still providing power. Not much, but still. Constant. And it's free. Well, it'll be free until we go in there and have to pay to repair these machines that we killed. <laughs> other than that, it's free. We're still cranking out loads of tungsten. Awesome. That's full of wolframite now. That's changed to tungsten, so we've got all the tungsten that's on here. The dupes are putting it in there because the sweeper can't reach that one. There. As soon as they make 2,000 of it, this will turn off, but the dupes are coming off along and putting it in there. There we go. That re-kicks off another 2,000. Big shell coming. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's popped uh, earlier. I was calling it uglier, but earlier is kind of nicer. Bit of uglier. Let's check a drywall there and get rid of that. That last bit of that thing has gone. So that's water. We need to get in here and pump this out then and find out what this vent is. Mop this. Trying to centralize all the different liquids because there's quite a lot of them. Now we've got water here and salt, polluted, mixtures of polluted and clean. And a few satellites here giving out radiation. More more polluted here. Is that clean polluted or dirty polluted? It's clean polluted. Nice. There is some slime in here though. We could send the slime back home if we wanted to. Ah, I wanted to test something here. I wanted to see what it would do. Actually, we don't have the oxygen. Oh, we can pump oxygen to it. Hmm, I think it's under, is it under shipping? No, it's under rocketry then. The enclosed telescope. What about you? Would you do it? Only made it cobalt or so the next light asteroid field that comes in and smashes it to bits. I want to see if that thing can do it. I'll build one of those. We'll come back and check later. The another aluminum volcano. More water. Iron volcano. We've got so much stuff. This is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, that pushed out some of it. Well, we need to push out a bit more, I think. So we'll do another layer there. That'll give them something to do. Polluted's got to end up all the way over either here or down here, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't want this getting in it. We cleaned all the germs by shining a lamp into it. We could do that down here if we needed to. Allow that out. Hmm. Well, deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. And we might try and just brick this in. And the old bricking in job to make liquids just vanish. Yeah, I might try that. That in. Put a tile here. I have to change these to actual solid tiles because otherwise the liquid will hide in them. Bit there. And you build tiles all over the top of it. Get rid of that one first. 
once they've built the tiles in, you can diagonally build in tiles and just push all the liquid to one corner and then diagonally build the tile in and that liquid is eliminated. Gone. Totally vanished from the game. Actually, that's not that. Yeah. That. And you got that piece so that can drop down. Soup. And I want to continue this. Get rid of that if we can. Thank you. Thank you. Pick it all up. Get rid of it. You probably can't get out now, can you? No. Can you? Can you jump from there to there? I'm sure you can. Yes. Easy. Perfect. Nice. Another one there, please. And we'll have to... This, this, and that will eliminate all the polluted germs from that we created from our early toilets when we first colonized here. Did we inspect this? Ah, there's a data bank in there. Notice that. Awesome. Right, so now, brick over the top, boom, like that. Deconstruct that one. And we can get rid of this power wire. Don't need you. If we need it, we'll put it back. But for now, we can get rid of it. Solid materials, doesn't matter. They'll pop out diagonally and drop down. But uh, it's the liquid we want to eliminate because it's got 500,000 germs and nearly 600,000 and something. Like that. Look at that. We had that going on in here. It's food poisoning, but that's fair enough. I don't care about that. We killed all the germs. With a lamp. Oh, the, yeah, well. I think that's too far away. Can we do it? Let's try it. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's all an experiment to me. We'll need another piece of uranium. Don't jam your head in there, Harold. Harold. Try not to jam your head, won't you? Can we get a piece of... Uranium there, but it's keeping this nice and chill. Where's the food? Is that uh, deep frozen? Yes, it's still deep frozen. I don't want to mess with that. Did get some, but I think we used it all up. I guess the only place to get some from is here. Where is it? A space we can more. Nope. We can just go down by one extra tile, I guess. We can reach it from this ladder. We dig there. Everything from the other base gets dropped in here. Food, new name, it, no matter what. Now you come in and you build tiles. And you build them on a massively high priority. So as soon as they can see one, they'll build it. You do that. And we can dig out this bit. Oh, yeah, well, come and dig that, would you? Because this is a nine, it should be the most highest priority and they should come and build it. But, yeah, they'll probably go to bed or something. No, they're getting some materials. Running around, doing things. Oh, they're building this wall. Did I make that a nine? No. Yeah. What I did. Should come down here and do this. This is your priorities. Come on. Up, up. Up to it. We haven't even defrosted this guy yet. I'm not sure we're going to. I don't think I'm going to. At least I have no plans to yet. Uranium ore. Oh, there was some. Oh, okay. Oh, that's because he dug it. I didn't see him dig it. Okay. He dug it. I'm going to put some in here. I don't know if that'll have any effect on these guys. Food poisoning because it's a bit far away from the lamp. That's quite far away. Yeah. 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And, uh, germs are dying. Yeah. Are they? I don't know. No, that's not moving. Is that coming out of this tank? Oh, there's seeds in here with food poisoning on. 
That's the problem. Let's move that to... Uh, where do I want to put it, though? I want to put it up here, but I don't want to actually sweep it into there and send it next door, but we want it close by. Let's put it there, out of range of the sweeper. That will explain where our... Uh, where our germs are coming from. So we'll, we'll get that out of there, sweep it up. I had to put them in a thing because the fish will eat seeds. Eat the lot. Hungry little blighters. Yeah, that's been done diagonally and that's pushed all this liquid up. Now deconstruct this one. Deconstruct that one. That was a really high priority. They will do that. Come across here and dig all this out now. Excellent. Running out of uh, clean water, but I don't think we use water for anything. Get rid of these two. Uh, they can't reach them now. This will be redesigned. We want bedrooms, a nice area to do stuff, and somewhere to make rocket scientists happy. You know how unhappy rocket scientists are? Miserable bastards. I can get to all this eggshell and send that next door. That will be more, more steel. Even more steel. Much steel as we can handle. Right, so this is already bar the food. Uh, yeah. How you doing, mister? You getting cooked? You are indeed. Look at you. 57 degrees of you. You enjoying the leaky oil fisher? Funny, I turned down the amount of liquid that we're adding to keep it cool. Now adding less brood to it. And yet, it seems like the temperature has gone down by about 20 degrees or something. 10 degrees at least. I sure that was like 150 or something. I'm sure it was. As long as it's over 100, it'll cook these guys. Don't get me wrong. They'll still absorb the temperature and, and be cooked. Maybe it is the fact that we're just getting more poke shells in here, so they're absorbing a lot of the heat. I don't know. Whatever. Probably drop that a little bit lower than 50. And once we've got the, um, you know, I don't know, thermium or whatever it is, we won't even need that because we could just replace the pump with one that can handle the heat. And we won't need to drip that in at all. And these will help remove some of the heat before it gets dropped in the tank. And then the boiler will just burn off whatever's left. Good timing. Let's see what we've got in here. Igneous rock at 765. Another stack at 773 degrees. 691 degrees. Oh, bubbled the mouse. 91 and 689 degrees. Ah, that's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Keep going. We're doing a wonderful job. And that's not often I say that about you. Well, usually the dupes. Let's go check on our um, space rocket after the game save. On our researcher. Probably getting rather stressed at this point. How are you doing for stress? Yeah, you're a little bit miserable. But you can make some more. I'm sure you can crank out a stack of data banks. Yeah, we might have to skill scrub her or something. But she has less... Um, a demand. Where are you, Bubbles? Oh, you're on in space, of course you are. He's got a uh, demand of 30. She's got critter ranching, and she's got the science, and the rocket piloting, and the plumbing, and the carrying. Yeah. She's got a lot of skills. There. She doesn't have exosuit training yet. But at the moment, it's... Uh, her morale need is outweighing what she's actually getting in the rocket. So, um, yeah, we need to reduce that a little bit. By taking off the critter ranching and just making her a specialised 
But because we're not researching all the time, having her as a rancher is kind of useful. We could get rid of things, I don't know. Carrying stuff is useful. Yeah, and she can just help out with the ranching. If we remove that ranching from her, I think she'd be absolutely fine in space for long periods of time. That 28 food will last quite a while. We'll just leave her to it for now, but when we bring her back, we might skill scrub her. Give her some new skills to look forward to. This made of ceramics. I'd rather make this the proper shape. It just looks funny. We're either going to make it square it off with this. Or, uh, yeah, I think squaring it off is better. So, in order to do that and not have to pump out another vacuum, I'm going to do the old bricking in technique. And not to there we want to cancel you. You can be a ceramic. You can be a ceramic. And they probably can't climb up, so we'll, we'll give them some... Ladderage. You can do this from the top. Please try not to get stuck on ledges. I know what you're like. I know what you're like. Okay. Oh, crikey. Look how much petroleum we've got now. We might have to set these to just pump out petroleum for a while. Put them on permanently. Ah, oh, that's why they can't reach. Come along. Join the circus. Have a great time. And maybe there and dig out this section. Dig what you can reach, basically. Whatever you can reach, you can dig. Then we'll be getting these guys back. Excellent. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Nice patch of steel to start expanding. We'll, we'll do along here first, I think, and then we'll move our rockets over. Petrol rockets can go this side because it makes more sense. It's near the petrol. And we can build some bigger rockets here, but we've got to figure out what we're going to do with the exhaust off them. If we put the bigger rockets over here, we're going to be blasting exhaust into our um, dust cap farm. If we put it here, this is where I was intending to put the um, liquid petroleum, uh, liquid um Hydrogen, liquid oxygen. Yeah. We'll have to think of a way of soaking up all that heat and either dissipating it into space or dealing with it in some way. Come in for a bit of a dig. Good job, guys. Dig all that out. You can dig that one as well if you want. No, I'll just stand there looking at it. What's wrong with you, Asken? Get on with it. Oh, he's having glitches. Ashcan's glitching out. Oh, there might be an invisible tile there he didn't like. There we go. Perfect. Loops are acting a little strange, I must admit. Now, that is wonderful. Now you can deconstruct all these. Have our steel back, please. Don't get trapped up there, you muppets. I know what you like. We'll have to come in here and sweep this out because I won't like that. That was all nice and clean. Look at the mess you're making. Oh, okay, it all falls in one layer. Awesome. Right, we'll have to... Oh, they've got access. That's fine. They can get the steel out. Ash can, you muppet. What do you do that for? Oh, he's coming up for another go. Well, they can do them from the bottom, so that's fine. Is there a liquid down here again? No, that's fine. Uh-oh, there might be something that's uh, going to overheat the things. We need to sweep anything liquid out of here. Anything ice. Anything liquefiable needs to go. 
Lick revivals? No? Anything? Ah, uh, too late. It's already gone then. Oh well. Might have been something. Liquefiable. Uh, snow and ice, those sort of things. The steam will overheat things and make them uh, break. It'll, it'll take a lot more heat. This relies on the fact that the carbon dioxide is what pulls it down and carries the heat away. Hopefully before any of these get so hot they break, steam will have actually evaporated base. Uh, it might cause a few issues. We may have to um, rebuild a couple of them. See what I'll do is disable auto repair. Stop them getting repaired. Reason for that is sometimes they get stuck in a loop of auto repairing. And uh, basically uh, you end up wasting materials by constantly auto repairing something. Sweep all the crap out of here would you? Dirt is in here. Ah, oh, that must have been polluted something. Polluted water then. Got heated and turned into dirt. Well, when this has cooled down and this steam has gone, pretty hot. We'll let the steam evaporate. It's evaporating into space. That's fine. Hopefully it will go before it causes any damage. And they can come in here and they can sweep all this crap out. That will help get rid of some of the temperature. Some of this stuff's probably hot. Get rid of the steel. I didn't want to do that because, like, we're going to be putting steel things up here. So we might as well put them in now. Take away from our... No, not like that. It will take away from our steel that we want to use for building rockets. But I think it's better to protect ourselves from those um, meteors when they come back. So that'll take them a little while, but they can uh, sweep all this junk. Why is there phosphorite there? Sweep that as well, please. With steel there you can get. Problem is with the sweep order is now they're going to take it all the way back to the base. And then bring it all the way back again to build with it. But I'd rather get it out of there quick. We're not bad. We're not bad. We've done about what, a quarter of it. Yeah, not too bad. More than I expected, anyway. Hey! There's a one of them. We'll kill it. I'm not going to risk putting it in with our others. Because it's been eating. And if you put it in there, it will vomit up a piece of dirt. And um, the others will all escape. So, I only take the eggs. Who was that? Nails. Thanks, Nails. Sorry. Murderage. Get rid of it. And it will turn into meat and it will fall down the ladder. What a good place to fall. 16,000 calories from one creature. That is why they are so good. And you don't have to ranch a million pakus. I think we're going to have to sweep this... Um, out because it's hot and it's keeping it hot in here. I want it gone. Oh, what is it? Dirt. Um, uh, God, what well, soil is dirt, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. Sweep the dirt out. You keep this door locked so that the dupes don't come running in here and getting teeny tiny amounts of clay. Now these deodorizers aren't going to do anything because there's a cloud of steam in here instead. And we need these to stop running for a little while so that the steam can evaporate without the heat being generated. That'll sweep out all the dirt. I think there's zero grams of dirt or something because look, the machine's running. Nothing's coming out on the rail. Uh, hang on, is it above? Yeah, it's above the other rail. He's getting some dirt. 30 grams, 15 grams, teeny tiny amounts. Now we just created a dirt farm. This seems to be creating dirt. The more it sweeps it up, the more it appears. Crazy. 
We've got some more um, regolith coming in. That's to stop the dupes having to come in. We won't be getting any clay if it keeps making magic dirt from nowhere. Hmm. Might have to stop sweeping it up and just leave it. Yeah, because of the polluted coming out of these, I think it's instantly vaporizing into dirt because it's so hot in here now. Get rid of the dirt. Don't bother. Don't bother, don't bother, don't bother. When the batteries get back to the right level, that will, uh, these will stop. We'll just have the one running. Which won't be long. They're using a lot of power because they're coming through the transit tube to get here to sweep. Once they've cleaned up most of this mess, it should be a lot better. Oh, crikey, they've built those already. Carry on then. We're definitely making some serious steel now, aren't we? Because the other side is sending over the polluted dirt to feed the poke shells. That is really helping. The other thing that will help when we get it done is improving this machine here. Instead of running on this pathetic little lamp, we will have infinite storage of um, the pollutant, the output, the waste product from a Red Bolt reactor. So, steam reactor. Uh oh, max stress. That's on our rocket, isn't it? That's on um, knowledge. Uh, yeah, Bubbles is not amused. Look at that. Okay, Bubbles, you may land. Change destination for the planet. Bubbles, can you actually... Um, where is it? Atmos suit. Can you put your Atmos suit on first? I should have done that first. Put your Atmos suit on. Otherwise I'll forget about you. And let's check space. We haven't automated it yet. That should land. The automation should say, but it's melted. The automation should say, yes, we need some more petroleum. And then the petroleum should automatically pump petroleum into the engine. The only reason it's doing it now is because that was already full. It was already full. Yeah. We didn't use much, so it stopped again. I think it's a bit silly making the automation wire melt. Why, why make it automatable if your automation will just melt all the time? So we definitely need better quality um, metal for these rockets. This is only the little, little petroleum engine. Wait until we've got the uh, Red Bull engines and things going and the uh, hydrogen rockets. Uh, that will be chaotic. How's it going in here? It's still just producing dirt. Producing instant dirt from the uh, polluted water. That's crazy, which means we're not pumping any out to space. And this is... Ah, that's why it rained. Isn't it? I think something got hot. Oh no, it's probably just the steam. If it condenses on these, it would rain in here. That would make sense. And they do keep opening this door, letting the steam out. But get all that out. I suppose you can leave the regolith in here. Cancel the regolith. As long as you've got everything else. Get the steel out. Regolith can be cancelled. Regolith there. Cancel you. Will that just leave that? So what we've got to do, basically, is try and not use too much power so that these guys stop running or we could just force them to stop for a while they should stop anyway because we're filling the batteries now the automation should stop them this one's decided deconstruct it's like on all the time these should stop when they get to 90 percent we could drop that to 80 
and should stop. That one to 80. But actually, we'll do them all. Do all of these. Now we should be able to set that to um, dirt again and sweep out some of this dirt. It shouldn't keep reforming. Something we could try is switching this tile to a mesh tile so it drips through for a little while to allow this to cool off. I think the steam's come down here now, which is bad. We want steam in here. What temperature is this? See, this is too hot. We could have used this to kind of cool this down, but the whole point of the idea is uh, it uses the uh, carbon dark side to vent this temperature out. Now we're just running the one. Hopefully the temperature will drop a little. Still 117, so I'm not going to hold my breath on that. But we're getting like... Uh, why aren't you sweeping up the dirt? You should be sweeping up the dirt as well. There's dirt there to sweep. Ah, oh, the automation's off. Okay, fair enough. That one's caught in an automation wire. Shouldn't be. We put a bridge on it. We've got to let them in there. Well, I don't mind letting them in there. That's fine. If you let them in there, it might let some of this steam out. I can mop it up then. Yeah, the, the whole point is the liquid runs along here and keeps the batteries cool. If the liquid's not running along here because this is so goddamn hot, it's turning straight to, to dirt. That's funny. Crikey. I can remember when they first brought that in that you could turn polluted water into dirt. With heat. That people were making all these amazing machines to do it. We've just done it by bleeding accident. By dropping something that was wet in here. I don't know what it was. Maybe there was some snow or something. Should have swept that up before I did it. Now. Going to be letting some steam out. Now we've got to nip that off. Make sure we clip the wire and not the bridge. Yeah, do that. Want that to turn off. Turn off, will you? Turn off? Thank you. Yeah, that's not working. We're going to have to do stop it running for a minute. Hopefully we won't run out of uh, power in the process because this is our backup power. So if we start having power problems we'll have to start it up again but we need to kind of reset the temperature of this. As soon as it drips in it's just creating more steam. Somebody come and build this piece of wire here. And we can turn them off. Or our batteries overheat. Come on, someone. In goes. How long does it take? Yeah. we got sweep orders on the steel as well. Supposed to be doing that. Build another couple. That might make them take that steel away. Right, once you've built that, I'll stop this one from running. Actually, do, do like that. Would that stop it? Yeah, that'll stop it. Copy settings to all the others. It'll stop now. And open this door. Yeah, that's swept all the dirt out. The only stuff is like very hot regolith now. We, we will stop this thing from running every day, I think. Reset it. Mop that up. Funny this game, it can get you. It, it'll get you if it can. 
All we gotta do is basically dig these tiles away and reset them. Temperature of them. So the way we'll do that is just deconstruct on buildings only. We'll just do every other one. Do that. The door is open so the steam can escape. Steam is raining down here and we're setting that to mop. So hopefully I'll come and mop that and we can keep letting this steam escape into space and out the door and wherever it wants to go. Rid of the, some of this as well if we can. Hopefully we won't run our batteries flat. They're going down pretty rapid. Yeah, take that steel. That's nice. Get rid of that. Don't care about the regolith. If we start running out of power, we're in trouble, so we'll have to restart it. Well, we can restart the end one that we always run, because it can just strip straight into the pump. Yeah, okay, we'll do that now. Good idea, once the game save has occurred. So, this one can restart. This one was on, uh, let's do it by numbers, 90, uh, 70, was it? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, it can't run because it's got no, uh, we can put that in. Boom. Good job. These are now running again because they're starting to get um, polluted oxygen instead. Is anyone coming to uh, do this? Unreachable. Uh-oh. We have problems now, then. That's unreachable. I think it's because they're climbing down to get to it. Yeah, you can't climb down there. Weird. Once that is in, they, that won't be unreachable. There you go, as soon as you've built it, you can now get to these. Errands, yes, good. Got that steel out of there, good job, nicely done. Lock those doors again, won't make that mistake again. But the steam is kind of going. A lot of area covered, but it's very thin, if you know what I mean. Come on, actually, what I'm going to do... I want to keep the batteries running. I want to let that steam out. So we'll just take out underneath these guys. I might let some of the steam out. Ah, crap. Oh well, he already had the job for it, so he did it anyway. That one. But the batteries are running. This one's just going to drip straight through and that'll pump it out to space. So that's fine. Get all this before it... Uh, Melts the plastic tube. Can you get to that? Come on. Why is it obsidian? Really? No, you don't need to be obsidian. Uh, let's make you out of igneous rock. Yeah, that sounds pleasant. There it is. It's supposed to drip down here, run across and drip out of here. And that keeps the batteries cool. But that uh, overheated steam problem can... Cause you real problems. You can really seriously mess things up. Come on. Chop, chop. Yeah, put the battery back and then it can run. There we go. I think the steam is going now. Been replaced with polluted. And there's little bits of steam here. Little bit there wifting around. Hopefully it will disappear out to space soon. Rely on the uh, carbon dioxide, take the heat from all this and disappear out to space with it. That's how it works. There you go, that bit's gone. It's a bit floating around in the doorway here, probably because the wires and the door is hot. But these have now been reset to 24. But I think because they're touching very hot tiles. 
Uh, oh, we could be all right here. That could be okay. Reset these. Anything that's not igneous rock there, we'll just... We'll do that, and then we'll the final one we'll do is brick that one up. Take that obsidian if you want. Sweep it out of here. This game will certainly catch you out. Wasn't prepared for that, but we seem to have fixed it. Hopefully, as long as the batteries don't overheat, but they're cooling down again. Hot steam can cause you a lot of issues in this game. A lot. Might also bring that up by a couple, so that anything that vents out of here doesn't have a chance to drip in here. Shouldn't do, but just in case. None of this is liquefiables. This is just regolith, which we've got gallons oodles of. Tons of it. So, we can brick back in here, and this machine can now run again. Once this tile is done, because we can't drop any more uh, regolith in, we, we dropped it down here. Put some more in. Maureen! Come on. They've probably got to go a very long way to get igneous. I didn't think of that when I replaced it. I don't know how far they've got to go. Ashcans just found a piece. That should help reset the temperature a little bit. That one's 60 degrees. That should really help. There we go. What are you? 25 going up. I'll help average that temperature back out. This is 60 degrees. Well, yeah. Once they've replaced those tiles, shut this door again. Break that back up with a proper igneous tile, solid tile, that the uh, polluted can flow across again. Boom, boom, and job done. And one more to go. I might as well do this one now. I think the temperature is cool enough now. Good. We don't want anything wet getting in here again. That's bad. This is our backup power. And I'll reset these now. That was what? 90... 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. Yeah, 90, 80 this one. Get that steel out of here as well, please. The steel, yeah, Muppet. Thank you. Right, take that steel and run. And we can lock this door up and be done with it. Back to normal service is resumed. There's some obsidian and bits in here to get out. That's fine, we can do that. Sweep that. Leave it like on a six or something. I can do that when they get round to it. This I want out of here, this piece of steel. They finished building that. Let's give them another one. They might take that piece of... Ugh, that's drunk in charge of a ladder. Come on. Be click. Thank you. Boom, boom. All the way along here. We didn't go up. I was going to go up. That's gone. That door needs now to be put onto auto. Someone come and do that for us. We can reconnect this. Out of power? Oh dear. I disconnected the power as well. All that does is once a day it signals this, resets that, and it sends up another batch of regolith. That's all it does. Sends another batch of regolith into this room, drops it off there. And the sweepers can put it in the uh, deodorizers and send back the uh, clay. Nice. I'm no coming to do this. I want to lock this door and forget this exists. So I want to get the... Cop, copy the settings of... Well, there, actually, that's wrong. 9080. Copy settings all the way along. And this one will be 90. This one will be 90, 60. I don't think that will work properly. 
1980, 1970, 1960, 1950, and 40. Ah, so once those batteries, these batteries here, have filled up to the relevant levels, this will stop running. Some of these will stop in turn. This one should stop first. Well, they're all set to 90, so they'll stop when it gets to 90. With all five of them running, should be pretty quick. Hopefully. This one's already full. Yo. That one's stopped. Wait for these to catch up. They were a bit less power in them, so they've got to keep going. Then they'll all stop. How much have we got in there? 16. Going up. 17. Problem. Averted. Diverted. How could we have dealt with that better? A, we should have checked to sweep up what was there. Therefore, we destroyed the tiles. I was desperate to get my hands on those tiles. I didn't think it would matter, so I let the materials drop down. Bad idea. Wrong, 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 and wrong. Now, this is weird. It should be this one running all the time, and this one should be secondary to it. But once it's filled up to its point, it should go correctly. It's actually going down in power, so it's keeping going. This one should kick in. It gets to 80%. That's fine. As long as one of them's running, that should keep going. We can keep on with our ladder of doomage. Go right the way across. Them. Yeah, if there's a asteroid thingy, well, never mind. And it might tell us off that there's ladders above it or something. I don't know. See, we'll see. Actually, let's put um, bubbles back on the normal schedule, I think. A shift. That will make bubbles a lot more happier. You got nothing to do, guys. I like your suit. It's very, very stylish. What we got here? Shine nymph. You can have a shine nymph. Right. Let's give them more to dig because they're they're out of work. Come over here. Dig all of this crap out, please. Got ourselves an iron volcano and a polluted water vent. And what we're going to do? We're going to come out the other side of that. But that's not going to work, is it? We need a way up. That's probably a bad place to put it. I'm, I'm thinking ahead. We're going to be building something around it. So let's put the ladders a little bit further away. So we might not have to move them, but we probably will anyway. Now, where's the polluted water going? Uh, not in there. Oh, crap. We need more room. More room for the polluted. So I need to pump this out. Pump that over here. Okay. Plumbing. Let's get a pump. We could do it by hand. Make them do it by hand. That'd take them ages, but it'd give them something to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do um, plumbing. Bottle empties. We can put a few here. A few tiles underneath. Uh, we can make mesh tiles, can't we? Yeah, cobalt ore. Loads of that around here. We'll build those and we'll bust out of here. Didn't work, did it? There we go. You can run out backwards and forwards doing this. We'll have to cut under here, I think. And put another tile there, just in case that decided to break. There's only dirt. We're going to be pouring all this water in. That way we will pump that one. There. Yeah, there's a bit of food coming out automatically from the other side. Drops in there, a bit of Barbecue. Automatic barbecue feeding machines. Excellent. 
So that will do that. We'll dig under here. By threes, by threes. That will give them something to stand on. Yo, that gives you a lot of work to do. Uh, I've done the ladders on a nine again. Uh, so I'm going to disable this thing, I think. We're going to get our seeds into here, I think. Yep. Seeds can all go there. Just put that on a lower priority, because if I empty it, all oh, the fish will eat them. The fish will, will go, ooh, seeds, delicious, and I'll eat them all. I'm going to leave them a bit of a floor to walk on there. Very effective, but there you go. Thank you very much. That gives them something to do. Let's go back over here. They should be restocking uh, oxalite and all sorts of things in the rockets. It's already been done. Look, we haven't got any more food to feed them, so that's done. Uh, so, in the in the way of seeds, uh, let's see what we have. If we have a lot of them, we might as well build one. Where are they? Hmm. Uh, it's not water weed seeds I wanted. It was the um. Oh no, is it under, not a seed, is it? Uh, I do one of them weirdly because you eat the seed, basically. So Rather than it being a seed, it's more of an edible. Bristleberry, that's the fella. I want to pin that. I think we're, we're, um... No, it's not bristle berries, it's the other one. Uh, the cold one. What was it we needed? I need to click on this again, I've forgotten what it's called. Berry sludge. It means we need sleep wheats. Sleep wheat grain. Okay, let's check here. Sleep wheat grain. That's not in here, is it? Is that a one of those... Um, of that even gums in these kiwi grain zero kilograms at all we don't have any we can't make them if we don't have them oh look at this still on well it's used like well it's used a half a ton used a reasonable amount they'll pop eventually all by themselves with no duplicate interaction takes a while they do. Hey. Oak shell wandering around here. The problem with the system that I did when I built this, I didn't realise I was going to use that. But now they have to c carry them across and occasionally they get called to lunch in the middle of it and they drop the poke shell and they run off to lunch. So he's just stood in here having a nice bath. 140 degree crude oil bath. Sounds nice. Probably good for the skin. There's another one, see? Yeah. If I was going to do this again, if I had a leaky oil fissure on the map, I would build the poke shell farm right next to it. But they don't have far to go. Because that's like a free cooking oil thing. When I've made this before, I made my own tank with one of those water heater things that we used over here somewhere. Here. One of these liquid tepidizers. And I put up the temperature as high as I could with that. Which I think is only 70. And to put it even hotter. And to use a, an aqua tuner in the end. To actually get it hot enough. To cook them. This is like a free way of doing that. It's already hot enough. <laughs> All you got to do is put them in there. And this is the method to get them in the in there because you can't put the uh, critter drop off just directly in there. They won't put it off. It's um flooded. There's some gold uh, heading to the uh, automatic oxalite machine. Wow, 324. Is this level even going down? It doesn't appear to be. 
That erupts again, but I think it's going to go dormant soon. Yeah, it's going dormant before it erupts. But this one will be turned to take over soon. Excellent. Nice having two. How's the pump doing? Got it down to grams. 20 grams there, right at the bottom. Let's check. I hope there's nothing in here that can off gas. We should have swept everything up. Fifty grams. Still got ninety-eight grams in that corner. Well done, pump. You're doing all right. All on his own. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Here we go. Going on up here. More more ladderage. Ladderage. What have we got in the way of steel? Try and do another couple of pieces. Yep. Keep going. How's this going? It's sorted itself now. Got three running now. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. We're using more power up. And that melted, which is very annoying. I think that's not fair, that melting. In the middle of, in the middle of a vacuum. That should not be melting when it comes from there. It's designed to be there. Why didn't you put the port over on the side then? You're going to melt it with the exhaust. Hmm. That means you can't automate your rockets properly until you've been to space and got space materials. By the time you've got those space materials, you've probably explored most of space and you're not bothered anymore. Very strange. But yeah, we got a little bit done. And some more excavating on a liter. A heater. A heater. A heater. Ah, it's a heater. I wonder if it's gold. Oh, that's what I wanted to check. Did they build that thing? This room here. No gas intake. Allow meteor shower identification. So if you put a barrier over the top of it so it doesn't get damaged by a meteor shower so it can close it, how does it know when the meteor shower stopped? So it can open it again. That's what I want to know. Does that mean you get an automation? No, just enable and disable. So... Uh, I don't know how you get that information from the building to automatically shut your doors. Oh, sneeze attack. <laughs> but bless me. Correct it. Have they built those yet? Uh, oh, it's because I left all these crap on a nine, wasn't it? Gone crazy building ladders. Has been emptied? No, still hasn't been emptied. That's on a. Let's make that a higher priority. Make this a. I think the lower one. You might do it. Who knows? Or was I going to cut that wire? Cut that wire off. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you very much. Ah, good. Nice to see you building things that I want built. That is going to be for ethanol. Please, please, please. Let it breathe down there. Oh no, yeah, there's a layer of chlorine. Copy settings. Sorry, George. Get on with it. We can do some testing here. We can mop this up. And mop. Is there any point mopping that one? No. We'll mop to there. That can be... 
Happy settings. Now you've got some bottles to put in there. Good job. It should flip that one round, really. Points the other way. Well, this whole area is probably going to fill up with it anyway, so never mind. Yeah, put that in there when you get some. Whip it in here. Guess what you're going to do now? You are going to come in here and you're going to do this. All by hand. Let's go to plumbing. Picture pump. Make it out of sedimentary rock. Place it right there. And these are going to be set to enable auto bottle. You have to have that set to enable auto bottle if you want them to take it out of a one of these pitcher pumps. Otherwise they will look for bottles lying on the map. But they won't actually take it from the uh, auto bottle. Do I see someone taking... Oh, it was, it was, it was you. Fine, don't worry. Don't worry, then I thought it was a fish. Bleach stone in here as well. well. The bleach stone can stay, but I want all the seeds out. So they're going to use that. They're going to hand pull that one and this one as well, I think. Yeah, why not? And, and maneuver that one too. Okay, we'll dig out that one so that blob falls in here and we'll put another one. Uh, plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. There we go. Another pitch pump will go. Damn, that ladder will be in my way then. Won't let me put it there. Oh, it's because that dasher salt vine guy is there. Crap. Okay. I'll have to build that first. There's another volcano of some description there. A couple of carbon dioxide ones in here, but there's something else here that I don't know what. I'm curious to find out what that one is. The carbon dioxide there. Right underneath all the uh, uranium is another cold biome, another ice biome. That'll be interesting. Get in there and get rid of that stuff. Also dig through here. What do we need to leave so that they can reach? So I'll say that one and that one. That's all that one. Yeah, they can reach most of that then. Good. Are well, we not here? Do that. That's high priority. What are these on? These are on a nine. Yeah, that will give them lots to do. Are well, we not here watching? So yeah, I think this is uh, the wrong one to use, the telescope. I'm going to deconstruct that. I'm going to see if I can build the uh, other one. On here, on this door. I don't know if you can. But sometimes it, it's a bit fussy with building on doors. But no, 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 that's not a proper thing. But it hasn't got the falling rocks icon. I'm pretty sure that's legit. And we've got a pipe already here that we can send oxygen to this room. We need some oxygen. Nip that there. We can attach that to our oxygen supply. We'll attach it there after the vent thing so that if another gas gets in this pipe, it won't come up and damage the building. I think we need a bit of power to that, don't we? No, it's not that. Oh, that's the door. <laughs> How power hungry is the building, please? No, they're not going to tell me. I think we're going to have to power it at least to there and figure it out. That way we can control. We can, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to get rid of that one, I think. We won't be able to see. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll find out. Which means I think we need that mission control room as well, don't we? 
We'll try and build one of those. I forget what it was under. Was it under stations? Geo tuner is there. We've got one of those. Clothing refashionator. Not there. Is it under rocketry then? Uh, mission control station. Rides guidance state. Oh, hang on. Rides guidance status to rockets within range to improve rocket speed must be operated by a duplicate with the astronomy. Requires a clear line of sight to space. So we can't build that in here. That needs a line of sight to space. Hmm. So let's give ourselves a little mm, glass room of doom. Not sure what we call it. Put in something here. Maybe I'll put it right down here, but I'm not sure how much of a clear line of sight to space it really needs. Sometimes these things are a little bit... Uh... Yeah, and if these doors are shut up here when we've built them, I'm going to be very happy. I don't make that mistake when I delete these and all the stuff falls down. Requires a clear line of sight. So can we put it here? I'm going to try it, I guess. A little room. Uh, we could build glass over the top of it. I'm not sure if that's strong enough. Want enough space underneath so they can walk underneath. Yeah. I have no idea if this is feasible, but I was thinking of putting a, a glass ceiling on it. Uh, window tiles made of, well, not diamond, we'd have to use glass. And it's kind of a little bit protected, but, um, you know, I'm in doubt as to whether that will work at all. But we'll find out. I can go, let that water out. Now I've got to do the same thing here, get rid of all this. I don't like this pipe being full of petroleum, though. Bothering me. Nip that pipe off so nothing, nothing can happen with that. Yeah, we barely used any fuel, that's why, because we didn't go anywhere. What are they doing? Are they doing anything? Yeah, they're getting they're getting it. They're pumping it out and taking it over here. That's what I wanted them to do. And uh I was busy making a quicker route. Hopefully quicker. I'm not sure if it really will be much quicker. What would be quicker it to be to come through here, wouldn't it? Faster. Well, well done you, you're strong, ain't you? Look at all the barrels you can carry. Barrels? Barrels. Wrong button. That one. Yes, please. So, ah, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to skill scrub bubbles. I didn't remember to put her back again. Bubbles, you're gonna, you're gonna have a time in the shaker. Time to do the shake and vac. The freshener's back. There you go. It already looks like somebody's in there with that, those circles. Bubbles, enjoy your trip. Have fun in there. Oh god. That thing looks horrible. Terrifying. Shaky machine. And there we shall leave it. Until next time, which will be after lunch. Uh, I want to get the rest of the top, hopefully, covered in steel bunker doors. And then try to figure out if we can automate them to open and close. Which will mean power wires and stuff, if we want them to open in a reasonable time frame. And, yeah. 
and then maybe we can get out to space uh, maybe we can get some thermium made or whatever it is niobium from space and make some thermium or however it works that will be for another time I thank you for watching, thank you for joining me, and I will catch you later. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, I'd appreciate a, a like, a subscribe if you can, and take care. Cheers.